Good evening, it is 6 o'clock and we begin tonight with breaking news. The Richmond police officer who was shot in the line of duty earlier this month is going to be taken off of life support. It was just about 40, 45 minutes ago that Richmond police posted the news on social media. And Emily Longnecker joins us live tonight in Richmond. So Emily, this is going to happen tomorrow. It is, Scott, yes. It's going to happen tomorrow at Miami Valley Hospital where Officer Sierra Burton has been fighting for her life for the past three weeks. And her fellow officers learned the devastating news earlier today during an internal announcement. And then about an hour ago, a release came out to the media and the general public that Officer Sierra Burton would be coming off life support tomorrow. They didn't say a time, but they said uh, in the uh, release that she will be an organ donor. And since Officer Burton was, you know, shot three weeks ago, this community has really rallied around uh, the Richmond Department, around Officer Burton's family, around Officer Burton in support, raising money for her, holding vigils, putting up signs with Officer Burton's uh, picture on them. But today uh, it was really quiet. The people coming out of the city building just had a heaviness to them um, and they, they were just looking down and, and, and they didn't have much to say. Um, Richmond Police Chief Michael Britt also came out and he was uh, gracious enough to talk to us and he said his department is just devastated. He himself, he said, feels like he is losing one of his children. You know, just right over here, hundreds of ribbons have been up on that sign for the past three weeks and it says prayers for Sierra and no doubt uh, that is going to continue. Chief Britt saying that uh, prayers still definitely needed. Officer Burton's family asking for privacy at this time and saying that arrangements would be announced in the coming days. And Scott. Such a sad situation in Richmond. We'll be following that story throughout the evening. Emily, thanks so much. And we've got more breaking news tonight, this time from Fishers.